sorry to get a little bit of wind noise on the audio today. It is quite blowy here. I will point out that during the summer months the car parking charges as always are quite horrendous uh, but you can park on the road from 7 o'clock. I had to remove the audio because the wind noise was absolutely horrendous and yes before anybody asks I do have a windsock on the microphone but it was blowing a uh, I was about to point out that uh, in the winter time the car parking is actually free uh, on the summer of an evening you can spend 10 or 11 pounds on an evening's car parking or you can park on the road and walk the extra 100 yards and save yourself good money. This is the sweep of Christchurch Bay looking west in the centre of the picture just emerging from the mist of the Purbex and slightly to the right of that is the entrance to Christchurch Harbour. And just going past as we pan left is the Isle of Wight and the Deedles of course. The path down to the beach starts off as quite a reasonable flight of steps. Um, I was going to say it's a bit steep, but it's not as much steep as quite tall steps. There is a disabled access if you go behind the cliffhanger cafe and there's a broad, very good quality tarmac path that runs all the way down to the front. That's the either white and the needles in the middle distance. Problem is when you get to the bottom of the steps it then descends into what is basically a goat track. Uh, for some reason they only took the steps halfway down the cliff. Um, it's not difficult underfoot, it's not difficult walking but it just becomes broken, uneven sort of cliff path rather than any proper constructed or tidy path. If I left the audio playing as recorded at the time here it would be absolutely impossible to hear anything other than the roar of the wind and that's with quite a decent microphone sock on. Could have put a thicker microphone sock on and then it would have been impossible to actually add any commentary to it because it would have not only blanked out the wind, it would have completely blanked out my voice as well. quite surprised at the number of people that are out and about walking the beach, sitting on the beach uh, on a day like this which was fairly bleak, dull, overcast, threat of rain, 
There's even a group just around the corner here who look like they're having a picnic on the beach and seriously thinking about going in for a swim, which I would have said in these conditions was pretty suicidal. Certainly not sensible whether to be going in swimming. This is the path that comes down from behind the cliffhanger cafe and runs all the way down to the front. As I said, quite a nice wide, fairly gentle slope, but as gentle as it can be coming down the cliff within a reasonable distance. The sign down here is encouraging people to get a free litter bag and take their litter and their rubbish home with them. Pretty appalling really that people in a civilised world have to be actually told to take their rubbish home with them and not dump it on the beach. It was just round the corner here where there was a party of people that looked like they were seriously thinking of going in for a swim. But there did appear to be, from a distance, a couple of beach wardens or something who seemed to be giving them words of advice. Hopefully they took it. known as Chewton Bunny.
C-H-E-W-T-O-N Bunny, as in bunny rabbits. A bunny is a stream running down through the cliffs in the land and out the sea. We did 